Hello, this is Mihai coming with a new video to show you one of the many things you can do with DNN Sharp products. Of course, all the nice tutorials can be found on our website blog.dnnsharp.com/1001. And today I will show you how to style your grids. To do that, I have already a new page here with a grid with an SQL select as a data source and I've already loaded some user IDs. I'm only interested in the numbers here. You, you all know how to do this. What I will show you now is how to make those numbers look nice. I'm going to start by uh, adding a formula field. Let's name it square and you will see why I'm gonna pick uh, a text formatting and sw switch to HTML view let's uh, write some HTML code here I'm gonna make a div and inside this div I'm going to use a uh, the tag to add my text. Now the text will be of course the user ID which I'm going to use as token because this is how I have it in my grid. This is the text here but I would like this text to be white and I would like it to be bold. Now, just to see that white text, I'm going to make my div uh, 30 pixels tall and also 30 pixels wide and use a background color, let's say red. Let's click save and go back to the form. Refresh. Yeah, a common mistake. Been there, done that so many times. Let's go back here. I forgot to check allow HTML. Save again. Reload. And ta da! Yeah, well, the font is not actually centered, so it doesn't look that great, but we're gonna fix that in a second. We just add here text align center. Save again, refresh the page, and there you go. This looks nice. Also, this field is searchable. If you type 5, you it will search by five. Let me show you uh, another nice thing. Let's add uh, another formula field. I'm going to name it size. And here I'm going to use the same formatting text, toggle to HTML mode. And here I'm going to use again the P tag. In this case, I would like to change the font size. Font size is, I'm gonna type my uh, field name here and pixels and in between the tags, I'm going to write x pixels font. Save.
let's refresh the grid <laughs> again the allow HTML checkbox well done Nihai twice in a row and as you can see the font size is actually different here it comes with the value specified by the user ID field. Now, another thing I know you guys use is the um, currency field. You want you format the field as number or money to show it as currency. I would recommend using text and um, add your own currency sign. In front of it so at this point uh, you will show just the user ID as a number but you can add a dollar sign in front of it let's click Save and let's make another one for another currency allow HTML again Text as formatting, toggle HTML, the P tags. This is going to be a pound. This is the HTML entity for the pound sign. And now my token. It's there. Now, let's refresh the grid and see how it looks. And this is the grid with all the styling. So we have coloring and different font colors, different font size based on the value of the user ID, and currency done with simple HTML. You can use any type of styling. You can write characters, texts around your numbers, you can do basically anything that can be done with HTML. I hope you like it and see you soon for the next video. Bye!